everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I create mosaics using sea glass. And today I'm going to talk to you about my latest project. Mm -hmm. So whenever I start a new project, I start with a frame. And I like to use old frames. I like to recycle old frames. And this is a window frame that would have come out of a Nova Scotia home. It was in really bad shape. I cleaned it up, sanded it all down, and uh, then I painted it because it was, it was a little bit too ugly to leave it unpainted. And I painted it up and made it all fresh. And so then I cut a piece of paper that size, and on that piece of paper, I drew my pattern. So my pattern's based on this picture that shows the scene along the shore, which is near my cottage, and this is where I find most of my sea glass. So what I've done here is I've taken that pattern that I drew and taped it to the back of the frame so that I can see through the frame, and that's what I use to guide me in placing all the sea glass pieces. And you'll notice that on the pattern, I've written some details. Um, I, here I just have sky, but I know in my mind that sky to me is always white, so I didn't write white on there. But the other parts of the pattern, I wrote what it was and what color I intended to be. So here I have grass, tiny green. Here I've got green. Here I've got large green because it's more in the foreground. Um, this is the cape, so I have medium brown here. And I kind of have some numbers here just to show that I want to have a little bit more detail. I have sand, small brown, and here I have, this is the cape, so it's all brown, but I've written here, large here, medium to large, it be smaller in here, and then I've got rocks written there, I just put a few notes there, that I like a few seagulls on the sand, because this is all sand, which would all be brown. Um, and uh, I've added some few, a few notes here, like I just wrote footsteps. But I know that I'm going to add some more details just to have some stuff happening here down on the beach. And all of this area in here is water. And so I know that that's going to be green. So that's my pattern. And what else do I need? Of course, I need sea glass. So what I usually do is I'll lay out a bunch of, I won't lay out all my sea glass, but I'll lay out a bunch of sea glass to pick from. So that's why I have a bunch of white laid out on the board here. Um, but I've also got extra jars of white, um, but the, I just bring out a few jars just to have them on hand. I've got a jar of milk white glass. I've got a couple of jars of green. I've got a jar of brown. Um, I have my one jar of blue. That's all the blue that I own. I'm hoping to collect some more this summer for sure. I've got a jar of pebbles and rocks because I know I'm going to put some rocks in on the beach and the cape. And I've got some aqua blue, and I've also got some pottery, because I know I'm going to use some of that in it as well. And then I have, um, I also have a bunch of my brown laid out. Um, because I know I'm probably going to start with brown, I've got quite a bit laid out. And when I have it laid out, I laid out a jar of large to medium at one side of the board, and small on the other side of the board. Um, so that's, I've got that ready to go to start with my brown because I think I will be starting at the bottom and working my way up. And then my other supplies, of course I've got a, a silicone, a little tube of silicone. I have a couple of my mosaic tools to help me pick up the small pieces or poke around with things. And then I always use, like I have the barbecue skewers that will help me when I want to clean up messy sea glass and I've got the little tiny ones for really tiny fine spots and of course a paper towel to wipe off any of the extra silicone just to keep it from being messy and that's about all that I need I'm ready to get going the only other thing that I usually like to do when I'm starting a piece I'll go through a bunch of my special pieces and I'll find oh what are some little details that I know I'm going to want so when I went looking, I decided I'd like to have, I found this piece that I might use in the sky as a sun and maybe to focus me a little bit on doing my sky. 
I also, I had written on my pattern that I wanted a fishing boat, but then I kind of changed my mind and I found a few pieces to make a nice sailboat that I'm going to put out in the water. So I grabbed those and this is a piece of driftwood, a couple of pieces of milk glass, a piece of aqua sea glass that kind of makes a cool little sailboat. And I found a rock that I'd like to put down here and I might put a couple of people sitting on the rock looking out on the scene at the beach. And I also found a few shells that I'm probably going to include. I really like these tiny little shells. I'll probably include a few of those. So sometimes I just lay those out of my glass knowing that eventually they're going to find their way into the piece. I had a few red rocks here that I quite like, so I'm probably going to put those on there to include. So that gives me a little bit of a start. What uh, I'm probably going to start with is figuring out what are some of my nice large brown pieces that I might lay out here. Um, you know, I usually just lay out a few pieces to get a bit of an idea where I'm going. And then once I have some laid out, I'll glue on before I go too far. But some of those special things, like the sailboat, will probably sit there unglued until I get to the water. And then when I'm gluing on a lot of the green pieces for the water, I'll fit the sailboat in there. And I guess that's all I have to show you for today. And I'll go ahead, when I check in with you next, I'm going to have some of it done, and we can talk about where to go from there. So I've gotten quite a bit of work done since the last time I had talked to you about this piece. This is walking along the shore and for this one I wanted to have dark, bigger pieces of brown along the bottom and then they get kind of smaller as you go up the beach and as you can see I used bigger pieces here because this is where the cape is and my idea is that with the bigger, darker pieces, you get that feeling that this is the side of the cape, and then the smaller pieces are the beach. And then out here, this is this other part of the cape, which tends, it's starting to get a little bit lighter and a little bit smaller pieces, but it still is distinct from the sand. And uh, what I did here, I wanted to put footsteps along the sand, so I used brown pieces to, that gradually got smaller and had footsteps, so it gives you that feeling of walking along the sand. And then I had two people sitting on a rock here, and I had two turtles, like a mother turtle and a baby turtle. And then I put some rocks in there, rocks and pebbles, just to add a bit of interest, and a few shells. So, now what to do next? I'm trying to decide, I know I want to have a green grass on top of the cape here, and I want to fill in the water green. I haven't glued on my boat yet. I'm going to wait till I get the water filled in. So I have all my green on a board here, and then I have it all, I don't have all my green. This is a very small bit of my green, but I have some spread out here, and then I'm going to use that to try and figure out Okay, what am I going to what am I going to find that's going to fit? So I know I want to start a little bit bigger and then get smaller as I get more towards the top here. So I'm going to just fiddle around with my green to find out what are some pieces that might fit in well here. And then as I fit them together, I'm going to see, okay, I need something with a bit of a triangle there that's going to fit in to fill in that spot. And then I just keep going and I usually will put a few on and wait until I get a few in place and then I'll start gluing. And then it's also at this stage that I'm planning what else am I going to put up here. So I was debating about whether or not to put some long skinny rocks for fence posts and I often have a dish of stuff like this sitting nearby. Those are my little mosaic tools that I use. But I often have a dish of special pieces just to think, okay, if I want a little extra detail, I might come in here and say, maybe I need a few little shells. I've got a few reds here. And I've got some, there's an interesting piece of pottery that I might include. And I've got some blue because I like to put some blue in every piece. So I have to decide where do I want to have a little blue here. So I'll go ahead and work on this and I'll get back to you after a bit. Mm -hmm. 
So I filled in the grass above the cape with green, and after auditioning a number of rocks for the fence posts, I landed on these three long skinny rocks that I thought made kind of unique fence posts. And I filled in all the water green. And as you can see, I added my sailboat, but I also decided on adding a fishing boat using some pottery and a little blue piece for the flag. And here's the sailboat I had been planning on using, and I added a red piece for a flag on that one. And then I added another blue sailboat off in the distance. I thought that was kind of a nice little one. And up in the sky, I added some blue pieces that make really nice herons, because I love herons. And I arranged a lot of white and aqua in the sky to look like rays coming out from the sun. And here I have the footprints along the sand using sea glass and little pebbles for the toes. And there's a close-up of the two turtles off uh, on the side in the sand. And I added a nuckshuck down in the right, far right corner using rocks on top of the sea glass. So overall, I think this piece gives you a really good feeling of walking along the shore and seeing the boats out in the water and the herons up in the sky. And it sort of takes me back to the beach. Thanks for joining me today and seeing how I created this piece along the shore. If you want even more details on the process I use, from start to finish to create a sea glass mosaic, you can check out my book, Creating Sea Glass Mosaic Art. You can find it on my website at jackietrimperseaglass.com. Mm -hmm.